Okay. Sitting down with Bears assistant coach Brian Helmer, and I have to catch up with you, Brian, about the first couple of days of your camp here, uh, working with Troy and with Ryan Murphy. It really looks like the guys have responded well. There seems to be an awful lot of energy, and our fans really are going to buy into that after last season. So just for yourself first, talk about how things have gone for your first couple of days back on the ice. Well, it's gone really good. Uh, you know, it's great to be back here, and, uh, you know, I think the uh, it's been up-tempo in practice, and guys really respond to Troy. I think he, he brings the energy and, uh, and they follow along. So it's been good. As a staple on the Bears blue line and, and obviously a, a record holder in the American Hockey League in your own right, you have been tasked to work with the defense here. And it's been something that uh, the teams here in your playing time here in Hershey, a lot of offense. We knew that a lot of offense, really high paced. But defense, it's shifted toward that being a necessity. So talk about the group that you have starting out uh, working with this year at camp. They really, again, they seem to respond to it very well, too. They have. I mean, uh, we've got a uh, Good guys that have, uh, you know, uh, mobile feet. Uh, they make great passes. Uh, we've got guys that we've got a mix of guys that play with uh, grit, um, and just having, you know, that that type of group, it, it's it's good. It was su successful last night, and you know that's something that we're going to uh, hopefully have all year long. Um, uh, you know, our year we're going to be young, but uh, like I said, uh, we're going to be able to move the puck. We'll be able to jump up in the play and make make things happen. Um, you know, we want to keep the puck in in their end and not in ours. You've got a veteran back there in Mike Moore who has been a captain for a couple of years in this American Hockey League, paired with uh, what I would call an ECHL vet in Eric Bergdorfer yesterday. Those two were your top pair. You've got a near vet in John Landry and then youth in, in Big Mike who's, who's very, very good with the, with the hands. We saw Wade Epp out there. It seems like you've got quite a variety to try to get on the same page. Was that a difficult task for you to get ready for that game yesterday? Not really. I mean, uh, we showed video. Uh, I think we prepared them pretty well. Um, I I thought that the uh, the pairs gelled really well, um, and that's what you, that's what we're looking for as coaches. And uh, you know, the, I thought they did a great job last night. You know, he, Mike uh, Moore brings a lot to the team. Uh, you know, he's uh, like you said, he's been a captain uh, for a few years now, and and it's nice having him there. He helps me out a lot. Let's talk about now. You obviously didn't have him as a teammate, but we're close to having Thomas Kondratik here uh, before you had gone away from Hershey and moved on. I, our fans, obviously, that's the one player at that position that everybody's wondering how he's coming along. Well, Thomas is coming along well. He's uh, He had a little problem with his groin there, but uh, it felt pretty good on the ice today. And um, we're looking for big things out of, out of him, especially offensively. Um, you know, we know that he has that offensive ability. And uh, for, for myself, I think uh, in practice, I'm going to uh, – try to get him to play a little bit of defense too. Um, and uh, if he can find that in his game, um, you know, he's going to be a good player. You and Troy ran the uh, rookie camp pretty much up in Washington. And now it's time to get this team either prepared for Hershey or prepared for South Carolina or one player Redding in, in particular. Um, I want to talk about your job here as assistant coach. Now, Troy has been the defense coach in the four years he was assistant here. And I want to talk about your duties now and, and how well the guys executed what you wanted them to do yesterday. Yeah, uh, one of my duties is, is obviously the uh, penalty kill. And, uh, you know, when you go uh, 0 for 8 last night, uh, that's, it's a, that's a pretty good night. And, um, you know, that's uh, we worked on it. We showed them video. And, uh, again, the guys responded really well. Um, you know, they one thing in our, our penalty kill is we want to be aggressive. And, and the guys did a great job. And, uh, and the other thing is uh, working with the defense. Um, you know, I, I think over my last few years of my career, I was pretty much doing that myself, doing that uh, for the coaches on the back end too. So, um, you know, I'm just, it, it's just going, going well. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm looking forward to the, this season. And the last thing I have for you, Brian, you've played with young goaltenders before. You've played with uh, goaltenders in their, in their 30s even and that have been around the league for quite some time and have had NHL experience. Does it make it any uh, easier for you as a D coach when you have a goaltender playing behind this group like Phoenix Copley did yesterday? Oh, Phoenix played outstanding. I mean, he was a big part of our win. And, um, you know, he uh, he plays with so much confidence and, and uh, poise. It's it's nice when you're a defenseman and you have a guy like that behind you. It gives you confidence. And I think that, uh, that did that uh, for our guys last night. And we're looking forward to seeing what the rematch is going to be like uh, Friday night against the Phantoms and the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins home and home this weekend before we get back at it next Saturday in Norfolk for real. Brian, pleasure to have you back. Uh, congratulations again on coming back to Hershey. It's great to have you. Thanks, Scott. I appreciate that.